Hello everyone. Today our topic is the V-shaped model and also referred to as verification and validation model. The major drawback for the four model is we move to the next stage only when the previous one is finished and there was no chance to go back if something is found wrong in later stages. The V-shaped model grew out of waterfall and is characterized by a corresponding testing pace for each development stage. Like waterfall, each stage begins only after the previous one has ended. This model is useful when there are no unknown requirements as still difficult to go back and make changes. V-shaped model provides means of testing of software at each stage in reverse manner. So we have one testing unit for each stage in the software development life cycle. Unit testing, integration testing, software testing, and acceptance testing. At every stage, test plans and test cases are created to verify and validate the product according to the requirement of that stage. This makes both verification and validation go in parallel. And this is why this model is also known as verification and validation model. Unit tests designed in the module design phase are executed on the code during this validation phase. Unit testing is the testing at code level and helps eliminate bugs at an early stage. Integration testing is associated with the architectural design phase. Integration tests are performed to test the coexistence and communication of the internal modules within the system. System testing is directly associated with the system design phase. System tests check the entire system functionality and the communication of the system under development with external systems. Acceptance testing is associated with business requirement analysis phase and involves testing the product in the user environment. Acceptance tests uncover the compatibility issues with the other systems available in the user environment. Next applications of V-shaped model. V-shaped model applications are almost the same as the waterfall model, as both the models are of sequential type. Requirements have to be very clear before the project starts, because it's usually expensive to go back and make changes. This model is used mainly in the medical development field. The most suitable scenarios to use the V-shaped model are the project is short, requirements are well-defined, clearly documented, and fixed. Product definition is stable, technology is not dynamic, and is well understood by the project team. There are no ambiguous or undefined requirements. The main advantages of this model are simple and easy to understand and use, highly disciplined model, and phases are completed one at a time. Works well for smaller projects where requirements are very well understood and it's easy to manage. The main disadvantages of the model are, it's not a good model for complex and object-oriented projects, poor model for long and ongoing projects, high risk and uncertainty, not suitable for the projects where requirements are at a moderate to high risk of changing. Once an application is in the testing stage, it's difficult to go back and change a functionality. No working software is produced until later during the life cycle. For today, that's all. Thank you.